Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jamel and I'm back with another embroidery video. See the SC1900 sitting right there? And as promised in my last video, I'm gonna show you guys how I embroider my designs on baby onesies. These are one of my designs <clears throat> that I will be putting on onesies and selling on my website uh, at canvasapparel.org. So I'm gonna show everybody the steps that I take to uh embroider my designs on the onesie it's pretty easy you're gonna also get to see me sew today so be prepared for that and hope you guys like the video this is design panda bear these onesies will be on sale on my website i'm just waiting on some more to come in so i can finish embroidering uh you know onesies and have different sizes for the website so be on the lookout for that on my website and we're going to get to the video. Now, one of the things that I do with my onesies is uh, when I get ready to hoop them, just for it to be easier for me, I cut my onesies down the side. So, on the side that's going to go in the hoop, I take some scissors and I cut it straight down the side. Make sure when you cut your onesie that you have a straight line because when you sew it back, you're going to sew it back right into these seams right here okay the second thing i do is i take my to make it easier to put the stabilizer on the onesie the onesie is backwards and i take my stabilizer and i spray it with some tack spray i spray it lightly i don't put a whole lot of tack spray on it because you don't want to gum up your needle while you're embroidering and make it get stuck and the thread will be popping and stuff like that. So I spray my tech spray on my stabilizer and I spray a light coat and then I stick it to the t-shirt. So I'm going to show y'all how I do that. So I take my stabilizer along with this and you usually want to spray this away from other stuff because the fumes of, you know, the spray droplets will get away from you and stick on something else. But um, I'm pretty good at keeping it in one place. So uh, I spray it on here lightly. It might sound like I'm spraying a lot, but I'm not. I'm just quick spray. And as you can see, I have my onesie laying right here. And what I do is I lay the onesie out, lay it down, I lay it down on something flat. Put the stabilizer on the onesie like that. And smooth it out on the onesie. stabilizer is sitting on your onesie and it won't move so you can flip it back out to the right side and get it ready to stitch out there so we're gonna go ahead and flip this onesie out to the right side and get it ready to put in the hoop okay now that I have my stabilizer inside my onesie it's now the onesie is now flipped over on the right side so now we're gonna go ahead and put the onesie inside the hoop okay got the hoop laid out so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the hoop, put it inside the onesie, and now you'll be able to see the reason why I cut my onesie on the side. That's so when you hoop the shirt to the machine, this side is open and you won't have to worry about uh, trying to pull the whole shirt up and place it in certain areas. It's open on this side, so the only thing you'll have to pull up it's the back part of the shirt. So I'm going to get this hoop and we're going to get started on embroidering the design on the uh, SC1900. Alright everybody, the onesie is now inside the hoop. So you see the side that has to click on to the embroidery machine is open. And the only thing I have to do now is flip this part of the shirt up and the back of the shirt won't get embroidered with the front of the shirt easy also if you like what you see on the video 
make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and for uh embroidery pes designs make sure you go to canvasapparel.org uh, i have some designs up there that you could uh purchase so you can embroider them at home if you like any of the designs go ahead and download them put them in your machine and embroider them at home and we're going to get started with the panel design embroidering it straight to this onesie so let's get to it okay so we're gonna hoop our shirt and run it this way it's gonna be easier easier to run it through the back because the bulk of the shirt is in the front this one right here make sure it's on there everything is good and we're gonna make sure the back of the shirt or any parts of the shirt that we don't want in broader it doesn't get embroidered and it's flipped up to here and you will also take some like clips like these these little office clips and you can kind of pull this stuff back but it shouldn't get in the way and we're going to be watching this the whole time so as you can see everyone i took the office clips and clipped them back here just to hold the the loose cloth of the shirt so it don't make a mistake and go under while the machine is moving around and we're gonna put our first color of embroidery thread in and this design it's gonna take about 35 minutes to complete you see the colors right there and we're gonna go ahead and load our first color in which would be color 817 like a gray color and we're gonna go ahead and get started on the design and if you want to learn how to uh, thread your machine I have a video on my channel where you can go look at how to embroider the, I mean, how to thread uh, the SC1900. Uh, it's an in-depth tutorial on how to do it. I think it's a really good tutorial. So if you don't know how to thread your machine or you just got your machine and you want to learn how to thread it because uh, you may not be able to understand the directions, you can go check out my video. It's very in-depth. I'll show you everything from putting the the thread here and running it through the slots and also uh, threading the needle and all, everything so go check that video out if you need some help threading your machine and we're going to go ahead and get started first color is loaded we're going to go ahead and press this green button let the SC1900 stitch the first part of the design out and y'all get to see me uh And brought it directly to a onesie. I use my way of how I do it. And also, if you like what you see on the video, please hit that like button. It'll help out my channel a whole lot. Please subscribe. Uh, so when you uh, when I post up a video. You'll be able to get a notification and you'll be able to come watch it because I'll be doing a lot more uh, direct to garment embroidery. I have a lot a lot of designs that I made that I'm going to be putting on baby onesies and putting them on my website. So make sure you check out the channel. Make sure you check out the website at canvasapparel.org for PES files and uh, be on the lookout for some new merch coming up. Okay, we're going to load our second color, which is black. So give me a minute. The black color is going to take about 14 minutes to do. I'm going to load the press foot, thread the needle, move this out the way. Press that green button to get started, and we're going to let the SC1900 do its thing.
And you see the SC1900? It's doing the back stitch for the, the outline of the, the panda's bear and his body. So, um, so once they finish the, the back stitch, then it's gonna fill the design with a fill stitch. I see 1900 stitching out the bear. It's stitching out pretty nicely. Everything is looking good so far, so I don't see any mistakes. Hopefully, no mistakes happen. Things do happen when you're recording videos, so hopefully no mistakes happen and everything goes out smooth. And also, please, make sure you hit that like button for me, everybody. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe for me. It's gonna help me out a whole lot. It's gonna help out my channel. It's gonna help get more videos like this uh, to, to be seen. So go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for me so you can get notified when I put up more videos like this. And uh, if you have any designs that you wanna see, see me do, see me at broader, go ahead and leave that in the comment. And I'll get to that design as soon as possible. So far so good everybody, it's coming out great, there's no pulling going on, everything is looking good. So far I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out. Okay, everybody, the black part of the design is complete. This is the panda bear's body. As you can see, everything looks good. There's no, no blue peeking through or anything. It's nice and stitched on there pretty good. So uh, that looks really good. Um, the only thing I have to do here is cut that jump stitch off. And then we're going to load up the green color, which is going to take uh, eight minutes. And what it's going to do is do the bamboo that surrounds the, the panda bear and the leaf. All right, everybody, I have the green loaded up. Everything is ready to go. All we got to do is hit this green button right here. It's going to take us about eight minutes to stitch this out. So I'm going to hit this green button right here. Watch it get started. And we're going to let it do its thing. All right, make sure if you like what you see on the channel, make sure to hit that like button. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell for me. If you're looking for some PES files to download, please go to my website at canvasapparel.org. Also, if you need any logos or pictures digitized, I do have the software to digitize uh, designs. So, uh, you can uh, send me your, uh, your design to canvasapparel2019 at gmail.com. Uh, I will uh, digitize the design and send it back to you to see if you like it. And if you do, we'll go from there. Uh, also, when I digitize your design, I'm also going to stitch it out on video so you can see how exactly how it's going to come out, exactly how it's going to stitch out. So when you get it, 
it won't be any surprises or anything. You'll have a video to stitch along with your design that you gave me to digitize. So. everybody <clears throat> green is complete as you can see did all the bamboo sticks uh, there's a few jump stitches I have to cut and after I cut those jump stitches we're gonna get to the last color of the design which is white it's gonna take about 12 minutes so let me cut these jump stitches off and I'll get right back to y'all all right everybody I cut most of the jump stitches off uh, I don't really have to do all of the dumps jump stitches because the white is only going to fill up this part right here, the ear, the hand, and the toe. So uh, I'm going to cut the rest of them off once the, this, this part is complete. So I'm going to load the presser foot, thread the needle, and we're going to press this button. And we're going to finish up the, the last of the embroidery design. So <clears throat> go watch the SE1900 do its thing. It's doing a beautiful job on this embroidery file that I made so far, so everything is looking good, everything is coming out perfect. And once this design is complete, I'm going to show you uh, how to turn the embroidery machine back into a sewing machine, and then we're going to sew this onesie back together and have it ready to sell online on my website at canvasapparel.org Design is finished embroidery on the onesie. That was the last color, which was white, filled in the uh, panda's bare face, arm, 
the ear part and the toes. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cut these jump stitches off and I'm gonna show y'all how the design look. All right, everyone, the design is complete. As far as embroidering, this is how the design will look on the baby onesie. You can see that, stitched out perfectly. And if you flip it over, I already uh, took the cutaway stabilizer off. You don't have to take it completely off because this cutaway stabilizer is really soft and stiff, so you won't it won't you won't feel it on when you put the shirt on or anything, so it won't be uncomfortable. Uh, I'll put the link in the description of where to get this cutaway mesh stabilizer from. Uh, it's on Amazon, so you can go up there and purchase it and try it out on uh, some of your garments if you want to. So our next step is going to be. As you remember, the shirt has been cut down the side. So the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna stitch this shirt back together. So I'm gonna take the embroidery machine, turn it into a sewing machine, and we're gonna go ahead and stitch this shirt back together. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn the power off. And there's a latch right up under here. You see that hole right there? There's a latch under here that you grab. Pull that latch, pull the embroidery part off of your machine, and basically this is now a sewing machine, but you have a few other steps to do. You have to take the embroidery uh, piece off right here, and you take your screwdriver that came with your machine, and you unscrew this part right here. that to the side because you are going to hook that back up and if your machine came with one of these you can slide this on and this also opens up I know the SC1900 does it I think the PE800 does it I'm not sure about the SC600 but these are the machines that do have a little storage space for all your, your foots and stuff like that so Slide this on like that, open it up, and we're gonna get this piece right here. And if I'm gonna get this piece right here, and what you're gonna use is your J foot, but I have a different foot that I ordered off of Amazon, and I'm gonna use that foot. So I'm gonna pull it out quick. This is the foot I ordered off of Amazon. Okay, it focused a little bit. As you can see, this foot has the red lines on it. The foot that comes with your machine has the lines on it, but you, you barely can see them because they didn't paint them. And also, it just has this little bracket right here to keep your uh, your line straight for when you're sewing seams and stuff like that. So, this is the uh, foot I'm going to use. Same as the J foot, but it just has the lines on it and it has this you know tool right here on the side of it to keep everything straight so get your sewing machine ready you're gonna put this part on first I'm put it under here you're gonna screw that on make sure it's tight and once you have that on you just put this right here drop the presser foot onto the, the line I should rise back up with it. Okay, easy. Turn our sewing machine on and we're ready to go. All right, everybody, the sewing machine is ready to go. I only got to do one more step and that's change my bobbin thread. Because if you look at the onesie, it looks like it may have used blue bobbin thread if they sewed it together. I don't know what they sewed it together with. I think it was. I forgot the name of the machine, but if I use white bobbin thread on the back side, you're going to see white and you don't want to see that because you don't see any different color thread on the onesie. So I'm going to change this to blue bobbin thread. <clears throat> Take this out. I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to have some blue bobbin thread right here. Is ready to go. 
And the, the directions to load your bottom thread is right here on the machine right here. If you don't put it in that way, your design or your stitching will it will mess up. So make sure you pay attention to how you put your bobbin thread inside of your machine or you're going to cause some issues that you don't want. I'm having an issue right now, so let's fix this. Pull it out. There we go. We got our blue thread. We're going to load the machine up with blue thread. So, and we're ready to sew. Now one of the things that I do before I sew, I take some pins. I take these pins. And I line everything up. Because I want to sew this part right here back onto the seam. So I take my pins and I line everything up. So let me do that right quick. Okay, everybody have everything lined up and ready to sew. You can see my pins are in the shirt. And it's going all the way down. The stitch I'm going to use is a zigzag stitch. Which is going to go like that. And we're going to stitch it right down this seam. Right here so it can kind of look the same like it's, it's never been cut. So we're going to get started on that. I'm going to take this first pin out and line everything up. Everything's okay. ready. I have my foot pedal. I use my foot pedal to uh, sew. So uh, you can use this button right here, I think. And this button is to do like a, to go backwards. So we're going to get started. And we're going to stitch this shirt back together. So we'll have a product that we can sell. back a little bit so then and then I go back up Right before you get to your, your next pin, you want to pull that out. Don't forget to pull your pin out because you cause some problems with your machine. So make sure you pull that pin out right before you get to it. Super gray at sun, but I'm good enough. And right before we get to this pin, we're gonna pull it out. So we get we're gonna go backwards. Let's cut these two stitches off right quick and, and I'll show y'all how it came out. And this is how it looks. If you can see that, you can't really tell that the shirt has been cut too much. Only a, you know, master seamstress will be able to tell, but you can see that the zigzag stitch I did kind of almost matches. So let's flip it back over on the right side. Flip it back over on the right side and you can see there's no holes in it all the way up. And it looks the same on both sides. If you can see, this is the side I didn't cut. And this is the side I did cut. And this is the complete design on the onesie. This is how I make my onesies. This is, uh, it's easier this way than trying to put the whole onesie inside the hoop and trying to peel it all back. So I just cut it on the side so it can go on the uh, hoop easier. 
and I mean it's less of a headache doing it that way so uh, this is it everybody if you like what you see on the channel please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button thanks everybody for watching the video uh, if you got any questions put them down there in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer them and that's the video for the day everybody make sure you go to canvasapparel.org be on the lookout for this shirt to be up there and get you some PES files so you can download them and stitch them out uh, the PES, PES file for this design I will not put it up there because this is going to be a part of uh, my merchandise for my shirt so I will not put this PES file up there but this shirt will be up there so if you know anybody having some babies soon Go ahead, audio a shirt. See y'all next video.